I am Michael Spath of TheWolverine.com. I'm here with Kyle Kalis and Ben Braden, uh, Michigan's likely starting right and left guard. Guys, uh, I wanted to ask you, first of all, the competition to be the two guards, how exciting is this for both of you in your retro freshman year to be in this position? I mean, I think it's a great opportunity, uh, especially, you know, the team thinks that we have a chance to, you know, help them win games on Saturdays, and that's huge. But I think, you know, also as a team, they're helping us get to where we need to be, and, you know, it's a great honor to be able to even have this opportunity at the mission. I think it's really, they're really fun. I mean, you get the chance to go out there and play football every single day for Michigan. And that opportunity right there is awesome. And the fact, Ben already said it, the fact that they're putting confidence into us so early. I mean, we both we both worked really hard at the spring ball, and, uh, and that was good for both of us. So. But then camp is where you it really comes into play, and we're, we're playing, what, I think 19 days from now? 19, 19 20 days from now, so... But I think I, both of us, we still got to keep working and getting better, and... Obviously, the, the competition isn't over with. Uh, Brady always says, you know, nothing's entitled to you guys. Maybe you ended the spring as the starters. Maybe you started fall camp as the starters, but you're not the starters yet. Yeah. What do you guys have to do between now and when you when the season starts to be the starting right and left guard? I mean, I'd say just keep working. Um, you know, every day there's something you can work on, something new, and something you got to keep getting better at. I mean, you may make progress in where you're, but you're not quite where you need to be, so keep pushing there. Where a new mistake comes up, okay, you know, this happens, so I got to learn this, fix it, and, you know, try not to make it again. So. I think I think the main thing is, is just, you can't be complacent. You can't you can't sit there and say, okay, I, I got this locked up because. Because if you do that, there's people right behind you that Coach Funk is ready to put in there. Or Coach, Coach Hokesbury putting it right behind you. So the main thing is you can't go into a day thinking, okay, I'm just going to motions. you got to come in every single day, and you got to try to do the best you can. And if you, and if you do that, then most of it works out. Obviously, Coach Hoke and, and this coaching staff recruited both of you guys. And the, the idea was, at some point when you guys are ready to be starters, and some of your classmates and some of the younger guys, we want to change the offense. We're not going to be a spread. We're going to be a downhill running power team. How well does that fit into both, what both of you guys do? I mean, coming from Rockville, I mean, that, I'm from more natural in that area just because it was really similar. Um, we had a lot more downhill plays in Rockville. Um, you know, I really enjoy it, so I, I'm looking forward to it. And it's a lot. It's, I'm used to the downhill play, so, you know, coming from Rockford to Michigan, it's just like Kyle, you had a reputation coming out of high school as a real mauler, someone that just punched the opponent. And I talked to a couple of opponents at the Big Ten media day and said, you know, that offensive line was good, but it was a finesse line. A year ago. When you hear that, yeah, opponents said that anonymously. Uh, but when you hear that, how much do you guys say that's not going to be the case this year? Well, I think that's the main thing that folks are all year. Because especially, especially Taylor, because you can hear Taylor and all his press conferences talking about the nasties and how we get more tough. And it's true. We got to be as a unit more tougher or more tough. Tougher. Yeah, tougher. <laughs> we got to be uh, more nasty, and it's the main thing we focus on. It's like th those two things are just the main things we focus on all year long. Winter, with, through winter conditioning and, and summer conditioning and spring ball. I think we made big strides since last year. Obviously, some of these other guys, Jack Miller, there's a big competition at center. Uh, Brady said today that 13 days out, 12 days out, he wants to know who is starting five so that he can build that chemistry. How important is that to you guys to, you know, in your first year to have a rock solid starting five that you know what the guy to my left is going to do and what the guy to my right is going to do? Uh, I, think, I think a lot of it is just. Um, it's good, it's good pressure. It's good pressure to push you to know that 12 days out, Coach Hope wants that, and it just makes you know that you can't take any day for granted. It makes you know you can't go out there one day and screw it up. you got to go out there every single day, and, and if you mess up one play, you got to come back and do better on the next play because you know the next guy behind you is, he, he's, he, might do, he might do better than you on that one play. So it's all about competing every single day, and that's the main thing. I want to ask you, uh, obviously there's a lot of buildup going into the season. Uh, you know, you've been waiting eight months to play that first game August 31st, but for you guys, you've been waiting longer because you registered a year ago. What does it feel like when you're when you've been waiting this long to then put the pads on and hit somebody that's not wearing the same color jersey you are? I'm mean, looking forward to this. It's really exciting. Uh, you know, like I said, we had a registered year where we uh, didn't get to play, but we were learning the plays and so on. You know, I'm looking forward to it to see what I've learned, how far I've come, and then compare it to the competition that we have on Saturday. I know you guys never look ahead. You always look at Central Michigan, Central Michigan, Central Michigan. But a couple weeks out, you've got the second week of the year you guys play Notre Dame. This is a defense that, even without Monte Teo, you know, is going to be one of the best in the country because of that front seven. 
Do you already look and say that is a game right there that we can prove that we are a different kind of offensive line? I mean, obviously everyone knows that it's going to be an all game. I don't know, like, it's a big deal. Everyone, everyone wants to come back. But that, that being said, you can't focus on that game before Central. And the main thing the coaches always trust to us is that Central is first, and we have to, we have to, we have to take on Central first before we can be anywhere past Notre Dame. But, I mean, like you said, Notre Dame, it's going to be a big game. And it should, yeah, it should be fun. And I'm assuming as an Ohio guy that was once committed to Ohio, <laughs> that that game in November has is, is probably been circled on your calendar for a long time. Uh, yeah, I can say that. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks a lot, guys.